Hi guys, welcome here again to another news. Of course, it's been a long time we've heard from our controversial Islamic cleric in Nigeria, Sheikh Ahmed Gumi, coming out to give a statement. But funny enough, he has come out now to attack President Muhammad Buhari on the killings of innocent Fulani headsmen. According to Sheikh Gumi, he said, No president in Nigeria history has killed innocent Fulani headsmen like Buhari. No president has killed you know, innocent Fulani headsmen in the history of Nigeria like Buhari did. What is your take to this? Do you think the killed Fulani headsmen are actually innocent? What is your own take on this? Well, we would like you to sit tight as we go into the full details of the news. Of course, we will not expect Sheikh Gumi to support the killings of Fulani headsmen even if they are not innocent. According to the news, Kaduna-based Islamic cleric Sheikh Ahmed Gumi has said, no other president has killed innocent Fulani headsmen as Muhammad Buhari has done. The controversial Islamic cleric who has been at the forefront of advocating negotiations for bandit disclosed this during an interview with Vanguard. He also spoke on the metamorphosis of the Ansaru sect that attacked the Abuja Kaduna train, killing some passengers and kidnapping several others. According to Gumi, they had a cave out, you know, they had to cave out, pardon, a small area where they could live their lives. He dismissed reports that claims President Buhari is sectional and doesn't want to do anything that will harm noble Muslims, especially Fulanese. This bandit who is supplying them weapons. This bandit who are those people supplying them weapons? They are bad elements in security service. Even if you are the commander in chief, you don't look at the security system and overhaul it completely. This problem will continue, he said. Thought the perception in some quarters that Buhari is protective of Fulani criminals, Gumi said, oh, it's the opposite. It's just a wrong perception. If there is any president that has actually killed innocent X-Men in the forest, it is Buhari. In all these bombardments, innocent people, women and children all die. What is your take to this? President Muhammad Buhari is said to be, you know, bias in terms of, you know, killing Christians and living the Muslims, of which of recent we've had President Muhammad Buhari revealing a question asked from him by the former US leader Donald Trump, asking him why he is killing Christians in Nigeria, of which he gave him, you know, the response. And now, Kumi said, the perception a lot of people have that President Muhammad Buhari is being protective of Fulani criminals, Gumi said. It is the opposite. It is just a wrong perception. If you are talking of the president who has killed more innocent headsmen in the forest, it is Buhari. It started during Jonathan administration. I'm telling you, most of the headsmen are reacting to the overuse of armed forces. Their children were scattered and displaced. This is what happened and this is what is happening. They are just fighting back and what I was able to do is to sit down with them and hear their grievances. But when we came out, we didn't have anything. Nobody was trying to listen. Even the press is not, you know, receptive. The press was very hostile. Like what you said when the BBC had its interview, the government was hostile. When we went in, we were accused of trying to give publicity to these people. Just imagine the Ansaro being behind the train attack. We later learned that 
eight other children were incarcerated. So, no matter how criminally minded you are, what has to do, you know, what has that to do with your children? So, we are, you know, pushing them into criminal activities. What is your take to this? It is what the Nigerian government has cost them that is pushing them into criminal activities. That is what Gumi have said. What is your own reaction to this? Of course, a lot of people will say, we don't expect Gumi to support the killing of Fulani Hetzman and we don't expect him to go against them. Of course, they are one. Now, Gumi is saying that this gunman, this bandit, they must have had something before they swing into action. Just like the Ansaru sect that are said to be behind the Abuja Kaduna train, you know, that happened some months ago. It was after everything that it was revealed that this thing does just not happen. Their own children were also incarcerated. Eight of their children were incarcerated. What is your take to this? What is your own reaction to this brand of love? Means would like you to share it with us via the comment section. I'd like you to let us know your own take on this, but before we go, let's people's reactions to this. Izuchuku Emmanuel reacted to this and said, Mind him have started. You guys are masters in putting confusion in the minds of innocent citizens. The same people that invite foreign Fulanis to enter the country and start terrorizing villagers are now pointing accusing finger. Now, wow, that is a reaction from Izuchuku Emmanuel saying that people, you know, the same group of people that invited foreign Fulanis to enter the country and start terrorizing villagers are now pointing accusing fingers. These people are just masters in putting confusion in the minds of innocent citizens. Alaji Hassan also reacted and said, and you are going to testify this before God. It's important to know that in everything we do and said, God instructs believers to be just and fair to everyone, even your enemy. Shake. Prepare a solid evidence because it is a must. You are going to depend, you know, defend your words in the day of judgment. Everything you say, you have to defend everything. What is your take to this? Okoye Peter also said, the Saudi Arabia ex-convict has spoken. Frank Godwill said, this man should be arrested for God's sake. If na Ibo man said this kind of thing, he would have been in prison by now. What is your take to this? What is your own reaction to this brain development? A lot of reactions has been trailing, you know, as this Sheikh Gumi has given this kind of statement saying no president in Nigeria history has killed more innocent Fulani than Buhari. Assuming he is an evil man, he would have been in prison by now, but he is a Fulani man and people are now still commenting. What is your take to this? We would like you to share it all with us via the comment section. Don't forget that the insecurity in Nigeria is causing a lot of damages and it is as a result of this insecurity that we are having all this hard time. We just hope that in no time, all these things will become things of the past and we'll have a wonderful country of which we are belonging for. Thank you guys for listening. Subscribe to this channel if you have not. And I will see you on the other news. Bye for now.